I think we can all agree that realistic 3D character animation has always been a challenging pursuit. Probably the most challenging, actually. However, in recent years, there was a tool that goes by the name of Ziva VFX, which totally revolutionized this genre and came to the industry to help VFX artists create all sorts of creatures in blockbusters, whether it be animals, humans, or fantasy creatures. The amazing thing is that what this tool does is not even visible because it is all under the skin. So how does this software help make characters and creature animations look realistic? How was it created in the first place and why it is being tossed around like a hot potato between different companies recently? Before we continue, let me tell you about RenderHub. RenderHub is one of the best platforms for 3D assets out there. From high quality and fully textured 3D models to characters, cards, and everything else in between. Spanning a long list of every major category like people, animals, food, interior design, environments, and much more. So if it is art related, you can probably find it here. There are also a ton of 3D printing ready models if you are into that field. And RenderHub is not just a storefront, it is also a perfect place if you want to sell your creations. It is super intuitive, and it provides you with all the tools you need to organize, keep track of your sales, create coupons and discounts, in addition to other stuff. Not to forget that RenderHub is a great learning platform, and they host 3D competitions regularly. So if you want to join a thriving community, learn, sell, and participate in great challenges, you can click the link in the description down below. Now back to the video. Ziva VFX came into existence in the creative labs of Ziva Dynamics, a company that was founded in early 2015 by James Jacob, an Academy Award winner for his contribution to the development of the tissue physically based character simulation framework, which is hard to say. Imagine how much work went into actually doing it. Another founder was the TR35 winner, Dr. Jernay Barbic, a professor at the University of Southern California. Together, they combined their contrasting expertise of both working at prestigious VFX studios like Wara Digital and Academia with a mission of making CGI animations better. But how they did this, you might ask? Well, with Ziva VFX which was originally developed as a plugin for Autodesk Maya, one of the most used software in creative industries, especially for animation. And ever since then, Ziva VFX has evolved into a powerhouse of a toolset by taking advantage of well-established methodologies from engineering and computer science. Even if you haven't heard of it before, chances you have already seen Ziva VFX in action in blockbuster movies and TV series such as Game of Thrones, Pacific Rim, and John Wick, just to name a few. But how does it work? Well, what makes Ziva unique is how it takes a different approach from traditional 3D animation methods, where instead of relying exclusively on manual rigging and animation techniques, Ziva offers a simulation-based approach that relies on the fundamentals of real-world physics and how soft tissue such as muscles, fat, and skin function to create lifelike CGI characters and create anatomically accurate animations, which respond dynamically to movement, gravity, and external forces, so that everything moves the way audiences expected it to be, just like in real life. Generally speaking, artists in 3D animation start by designing a character and then they add a set of digital and invisible bones to animate it. However, in the case of Ziva VFX, it takes a different approach by building characters from the inside out. Kind of how tissue from what a digital works, which makes sense, considering they come from the same people. Anyways, animators start by creating a skeleton first, and then they add muscles, fascia, fat, skin, and finally fur or clothes if there is any. So layer by layer until the animal or character is fully finished. However, they have to ensure that it is anatomically correct for the movement to look real. I know, 
You might say that's a lot of work, and indeed it is, but believe me, the quality is gonna be worth every penny and every minute spent on it. The tool starts with the bones movement as the base, and then simulating the rest of the body around this system. For example, every muscle is attached to other muscles, and then they are solved with a fem solver, a technology that is used in engineering and physics to analyze and simulate the behavior of complex structures and materials under various conditions. After that, the muscle will drive the fat simulation, and then the fat sim becomes the attachment for the skin, and so on and so forth. Besides, it also offers the ability to adjust the attributes of the simulated objects, like their flexibility, volume preservation, density, fiber directions, and contractile forces. These simulations are then connected with Ziva attachments so that they can react and collide realistically with each other. To achieve all of this, Ziva relies on the power of machine learning and alternative simulation techniques to simulate how muscles and character animations behave in realistic ways, based on the laws of physics and anatomy. And as humans, our brains are unconsciously able to recognize and interpret realistic movements with a subconscious understanding of how muscles move and interact. That's why it is easy to spot something that does not look realistic without even knowing it, which is amazing how our brain works. As a result, it is important for the industry to have this kind of tools, which can offer a semi-automatic way to produce CG animations that are similar to the movements in the real world. And it removes a difficult step from the rigging process, which would take years upon years of practice in anatomy to master. Please keep in mind that we are just touching the tip of the iceberg here, and this is just an overview of this technology since we can't cover all of this in this video alone. So as we have previously mentioned, Ziva has forged a name for itself in the VFX industry by becoming a household name with over 200 of the top VFX studios using it, including heavy hitters like MPC, DNAG, and Scaline. And in 2019, Ziva won the Monolith Award for Technology, which is a prestigious award that represents the most outstanding innovations in technology, and it was voted by a board of entertainment and software industry professionals, including representatives from the likes of Universal Pictures, Warner Bros, Microsoft, and Adobe, among many others. One of the earliest productions that used the tool was Sony Pictures Imageworks when working on Suicide Squad in 2016, because around the same time, Ziva Dynamics was doing a close beta of their new muscle technology, and they decided to give it a shot, doing a close beta for the simulation of the muscles of the Enchantress character to make it look as realistic as possible. And while the movie itself didn't live up to the hype, from a storytelling perspective at least, the CG Enchantress character was so convincingly lifelike to the extent that it was difficult to distinguish her from the real actors, which truly showcased the impressive capabilities of Ziva Dynamics from the get-go. Just like how Mark Brakespear, a VFX supervisor at Sony Pictures Imageworks stated, Ziva is an amazing software. It helped us animate Enchantress in a way that you look at her and you go, oh, why is she CG? That was a big achievement. I think virtually that was a real payoff. And it's one of those things where you know it's gonna work, but you don't really see it until very close to the end. My fingernails have started growing back again but they were pretty worn down for a while. From there, Ziva VFX was adopted and seen at almost every corner of the VFX production industry. While most companies would have settled for this achievement, Ziva Dynamics had an even bigger desire behind closed doors. But what was it about? In 2020, after making a tremendous impact on the film industry, Ziva Dynamics continued its journey, but this time, they set their sight on a new goal, conquering the video game industry with a backing of $7 million in seed funding. A type of capital that a startup or entrepreneurs raise for the development of a product or a service. 
With this funding, they plan to further advance the development of their real-time character engine, so that they could introduce the highest quality of character animations where the gaming space has ever seen. However, let's just say, with the ambition of entering the game industry, they caught the attention of a rather a familiar player. You see, in 2022, to the surprise of many, Unity announced the acquisition of Ziva Dynamics for an undisclosed amount. And Unity plan was to make Ziva's lineup of tools available for all game developers and artists, regardless of their skill level. And about the topic, James Jacobs, the CEO of Ziva Dynamics at the time, expressed to virtualhumans.org that the two companies share the same vision of empowering digital artists. And joining forces with Unity means Ziva Technologies will be able to do more, as well as reaching a much larger audience of 3D content creators. But is this really true? Unfortunately, this is not the case anymore. Because at the start of April 2024, Unity announced that the company is ending the sale of Ziva VFX, Ziva Real Time, Ziva Face Trainer, and associated products. Because DNAG, which is a very big and popular VFX studio, has acquired an exclusive perpetual license of the Ziva IP. However, Unity will continue to retain ownership of the technologies of Ziva. On a side note, the financial details of the deal have not been disclosed, as usual. And even though Unity explains that the sales and support are ending, active subscribers have the option to convert their existing license to a 5-year term so that they may continue using the product beyond their existing license, which is I think the only positive outcome in this current deal for the existing users of Ziva VFX. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also take a look at some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.